Hey Kubernetes admins, it's Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's give our pods a security boost by creating a new security policy. Let's create a Kubernetes pod security policy that prevents the creation of privileged pods and controls access to volumes. First, we must create the YAML file. From a terminal window, issue the command nano psp.yaml. In that file, paste the content shown in the article below. Save and close the file. Now we have to apply the policy. This is done with the command kubectl apply f psp.yaml. The command will report back podsecurity.policy slash psp created. At any time, you can modify the policy YAML file and run the same command to reconfigure the policy. Check to make sure your policy is available by issuing the command kubectl get psp. The output will list the details for the policy. Now that you've created your policy, how do you assign it? This is done using RBAC, role-based access control. Create an RBAC configuration for the policy with the command nano rbac-psp.yaml. In that file, paste the contents in the article below. Save and close the file. Apply this policy with the command kubectl apply f rbac Dash psp dot yaml. We've now created a policy and an RBAC control. Let's find out if we are now able to use this new policy. Issue the command kubectl auth can dash i use psp slash psp. The output should say yes. Of course it should say yes as I am an admin user. But what if we test it with any user? Do that with the command kubectl auth can dash i use psp slash psp dash dash as dash group equals system colon authenticated dash dash as equals any dash user. You should now see no in the response. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.